What's good, world? Hey, just got to be blessed in my gut at the Houston Improv. Headline the Bill Crawford, but before the Bill hit the stage, man, got this cat called Spike Davis. Boy, right here, man. Real, real funny cat, man. Spike, sorry about you. Man, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. That's home. I live in Atlanta now, man. Everybody down there, you know, so I'm down there grinding like everybody else. Uh, you gotta grind, you gotta go to the inside. That's what it is. So, what inspired you to do comedy, man? Because I see you up there, you have a down home, southern routine. Right, right. You have a good way of kind of connecting with the audience. Where's the inspiration come from? Man, I just always like to uh, get on stage, man, just make people laugh, man. I've always been like the silly guy or whatever. Even growing up, man, we used to play ball and hoop, man. But after that, we'd be capping on each other. And I was one of the baddest cappers in my neighborhood. So, you know, I got to the point where I was so good. People want to beat me up and all that type of thing. But I had a two biggest brothers, so I got to slow them up for that. But it's just always, man, I like to make people laugh, man. So what age, what age is you going to do this like, man, comedy? Like, probably like 18 or 19, something like that. I really wanted to do it. But it took me a while to really jump off because I was doing some other stuff, man. Academics, bro? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. 4.0, baby. 4.0. Had it. Yeah. But I had a 1.0 each year before years, so that's what that is. And look, got you, got you, got you, got you. I got his steps. He can't even be serious on the interview. So, um, you have this very, as I mentioned earlier, we're connecting with your audience. In terms of preparing the routine, to do that, I tell you what, man, I just enjoy people, so I, I like to do a show where you're not just talking at them, you kind of pull them in, so normally when I do a headline set, a lot of my material, the first 30 minutes of the show is just grabbing people in, they can jump into your material, and they can go out with a bang. People want to feel like they're included into the show, because they can sit at home and watch TV, you know, they'll hit the channel and go back and forth, but if you're right there in their face and grab them in, that's how to make a real performance. Right, now, like I mentioned before, you uh, here, Open act for the real profit, man. Now, in terms of just, I guess you could say, creating that buzz, getting the crowd ready for what's about to come, what right. kind of mind state are you using to try to portray that? Well, I tell you what, you really got to be your own hype, man. If you're the first dude up, because there's no opening night before you, yeah. you got the sound guy to introduce you, whatever. People want to feel somebody, so you got to be your own cheerleader. So I get up there, man, just get my own thing while trying to grab people, get them hyped, and then we just roll from there. Right. Now, this isn't the first time you've worked with a couple of people. Uh, doing some research and actually did some work with Steve Harvey. Why don't you elaborate on that? Well, you just stalking me, huh? Online. <laughs> yeah, I rolled out with Steve Harvey, man. I met him years ago, back when he was living in Cleveland, and I was in Louisville, Kentucky. And he always told me, man, when I get big, I'm gonna come grab you, man. And he just, man, he took me on tour with him. I was touring with him for three years, and Sid the Entertainer, and uh, Jamie Foxx, man. So most of the guys, man, I rolled out with him. Good dudes. Yeah, and it's good to be, be in that, I guess you could say, millionaire's comic book, boys club, especially if you want to have some success for so. Yeah, that's true. That's true, man. We just all got to grab each other, though, man. When you get to that point, reach back and grab somebody, man. Lavelle, man, we started out doing our thing together years ago. My fishing partner, my golfing partner, that's who I hang out with. But he told me when he blow, come and get you. You know what I'm saying? Same thing for me. I get a movie deal. Who I'm going to call first? But my dogs. We'll, we'll spread it out, but everybody got to grab your cats first. Gotcha, gotcha. So, I'm a promoter. I see this interview. I like what you have to bring to the table. How do I book you? Uh, go to my website, spikedavisonfriends.com. I got my own uh, syndicated radio show. We're on in five markets right now. Uh, another 13 markets coming on in the next two months, so we're great to sign the paperwork on that. So, I'm doing my uh, radio thing as well. So. Okay, no Twitter, no Facebook. You know, that's really big. Man, Facebook to death, Twitter <laughs> to death. I mean, you can hit me up, man. Spike Davis, comedian. Gotta grab me. You can find me. I'm easy to find. But if you go to at realryanjrud.com or realryanjrud on Twitter, you'll get a link with him because I'm pretty sure me and him will be following each other after the interview. That's what I'm talking about, man. Hook me up, man. I want to host some events, man. Gotcha. I do weddings, man, family reunions, funerals. I host it all. I don't even care. So, so you really like a jack of all trades in terms of MC? Yes, sir. Okay. So, in terms of your outlook, what do you see yourself in the next five years? Man, the radio station is really starting to take off, man. My radio show, SpikeDavisonFriends.com. My uh, show, we did a, a cruise to a NASA Bahamas last okay. year. Uh, coming up February next year, we're going to Jamaica okay. uh, for five days. So the radio show is taking off. Uh, we're looking at some international markets. We did some shows over in Bermuda. And then uh, when I'm in Jamaica, you know, it's going to be working slash business trip. And then uh, kicking it. So I'll be uh, grabbing some station down there. That's my thing. So I hear about this little game show we got here. 
and just be uh, co-host with Lala, man. It must be really, really good for you working with BET, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I started working with BET, man, really, when they really started doing Comic View. I was one of the first people to go on the show and do the thing when DL was hosting. And then after I did that for a while, man, they called me back and asked me that I want to host a game show. So I'm like, you know, what the heck? I, I'll never say I can't do something. So I'll go out and try it, but I hosted that for a season. It's called Over the Beat, and Lala was my uh, DJ and co-host. So we just had a good time asking people musical questions and stuff. It must be pretty fun working with Lala, man. And you better stay away from her. You know who her husband is. Uh, Cabello, man. I just got to you, Cabello. <laughs> All right. Hello, man. I love you. Your girl, man. She's fire, man. She's beautiful. The good spirit inside and out, man. And very talented lady. So I got love for Lala. Sure. Right, shout out to black people doing positive things. 2011, we're on the move, we're in the transition, man. We're trying to empower ourselves. Houston Improv, Ryan J. We got the 401 with Spike Davis. There it is. I just want it all. I feel like everyone's watching me and I ain't stopping it all. You're gonna feel my cry